and uh, as promised, here's the better version of the crafting video. So, starting off, I'm in Al's Head. Um, you can get here by walking in through the main gate and down this merchant row, um, past our stable boy here. Um, use the N key to bring up names to see who you're talking with. Um, and we find Handic here. Handic is our NPC merchant that's going to give us some of the supplies that we can't otherwise find. There are a couple ways to interact with merchants, but for this video, I'm going to be double left clicking on him. If you notice, there are a few items available um, inside of his inventory that were once inside the chests nearby. These items have to be purchased for gold, and they have to be used for uh, crafting. So you need to start off making money. Myself, I sold my starter armor that they gave me made a couple of items, sold that, and that's how I've been cycling. You also have the option to sell. Any of the stuff that you've made, you'll have in your inventory, and by double left clicking, um, it will move over to your proposed exchange, and when you click sign for exchange, you'll get the gold that is presented, um, and the item will be removed from your inventory. Keep in mind that currently, uh, the merchant inventories are not saving what you sell to them, so you cannot buy it back. Anything you sell will be gone. So, you will be needing some resources from him. Also, some of the molds are available in this left chest here. They have changed the image on several of the molds, so it is easier to cipher what one mold is over the other. Uh, in R2, if you played there, you would notice that most of the molds looked identical. Some of the resources, such as iron ore, um, the animal hides, the iron ore, and the wooden logs are all going to be available in this chest. I have already emptied it myself, so there's nothing in it right now to show you, but uh, it gets emptied and reset each time you log into SPO, or once every 10 minutes if you're in OPO. Again, this is an R3 pre-alpha. A lot of stuff is going to change. They're not going to be giving things away down the road. Finally, another piece that you're going to need for crafting are your tools. Uh, your tools are all available in the same chest that they were before, so you can grab whatever's appropriate for what you're trying to craft. Uh, there's a couple different things that a lot of people are going to struggle with. They've changed a few recipes, but uh, they've also made our lives a lot easier. So, one of the things that I would like to show off is the new ability to quickly move known versus unknown um, recipes back and forth. So, if I want to make a bolt of cloth, you can see it's highlighted. Uh, the spool of thread is not. I am missing my flax fiber. Um, the bolt of cloth is. So I can double click on bolt of cloth and it will take the items out of my bag and put them on the table and the craft is now highlighted. Optionally, if you don't know how to make something and it's not in your journal yet, you can drag and drop and it will bring up the split st stack. Uh, if you only have a single item, it'll take the single item. You select how many you want, you say OK, and you drop it on the table. Then you'll again be able to hit craft. When there are items on the table, there is a small arrow to the top right of the close, of uh, the top right of the, the crafting station that you are able to click that will take everything off the table and put it back into your bag. This is great for those little items that you might miss. Another thing that's great is shift click will take an entire stack so you don't split them. Control click will take the top item off of a stack so you only get one. This will help when you're trying to make recipes that only take one item instead of having to hit split every single time. It'll make life a lot faster. <coughs> when you have the exact quantity remaining, such as I have three spools of thread here, holding down the shift will, again, make it faster because I don't have to say I want to take all of them. 
they're really adding features to help speed up the crafting for um, the repetitious recipes that we have that are required to get up to our gear. So, uh, again, moving over. For those of you who don't know, there are several different recipes. There are several different requirements to recipes. So, for example, leather straps are required to make some of the cloth items that you're going to be wearing. In Shroud of the Avatar, the armor is not classified as cloth or leather for light and medium. Rather, it is, pardon me if I say this wrong, gambeson armor. Gambeson armor encompasses anything made on the tailoring table currently. And it is stitched armor, something that you have to put together that is a lighter form of armor. So many of the things you try to make as a tailor, will require both leather elements and cloth elements. That might help some of you guys locate your recipes a little bit easier once you know that. Discovering new recipes automatically add to your uh, recipe book. So if you wanted to repeat, you'd be able to. Equipping armor after you've created it can be done by literally drag and dropping over your avatar. If you guys have any questions, more detailed information is available on sotawiki.net. That's S-O-T-A-W-I-K-I dot net. There is an R3 crafting guide available on the home page. I'm also sitting inside the main chat. Again, my name is Baron Violation. If you go to shroudoftheavatar.com, you log into their chat, and you say my name in chat, I will be able to get an alert and help you out. If you have any other questions, ask them there, or feel free to uh, check out the crafting guide on the wiki.